Hey guys, this one's about a storm too, and I was really going to wait on this one, it was like the one, that, the main one that I've had about there's a storm coming to America, 8-11 to 9-11, 2020, and I was going to wait on it, because that's what I do a lot of times, if I have dreams or visions, I just pray on them constantly, because I don't want to be in the flesh. I want them to accomplish that, what they're sent out to do. I really pray a lot about them, guys. Not because I want the timing right. I want everything to be according to the perfect will of God. But this one was because I had this a while back, about three months ago, maybe four months ago. But this one, I was like, okay, it's just time. I could tell in the spirit. This one, I was standing in the sky and it was storming all around me really bad <sighs> lightning and thunder but I wasn't scared I was close but I had no fear not even really looking around to see where the next bulb was going to be coming from and then suddenly the lightning hit me and it went right through me and went out. And I still had no fear. And then the Lord spoke to me. And he said, we are the storm. And it took me back to a scripture that he gave me almost two years ago, right before we went on a missionary trip to Pennsylvania of all places some podunk town I'd never heard of that I got randomly in prayer. I had to Google it and it existed 2,000 miles away. And Lord told us to drive. I did, I did everything he told me to do, my wife and I. A long, arduous journey at some places and points. But we had to drive because there were certain specific people we had to meet. Knew that, but didn't like that. Wanted to fly. Get it over with. It's like 11, 12, day, 12 days. Long story. One day I'll, you know, it's probably going to be one of the books that I'm writing, but, or one day I'll share it. But he said, I was looking for scriptures. I had a certain scripture in my mind, in my heart. I was looking for it. And suddenly this one came up. The pages turned to this one as I was looking. Isaiah 29. I believe it's 2 through 4. It might be 4 through 6, but it's Isaiah 29. I think it's two. The voice of the Lord is as thunder over many waters. And then it's in Revelation. It's lightnings and thunders. Where is voice, guys? Over many waters. That's partly why he's got me on the on a YouTube internet trap, Feed Black or Treadmill or whatever. Facebook, I just don't like any of that. The social media garbage, but it's just a tool to get into people's world. But we're the storm, guys. Joel's army is going to arise in the midst of this storm. Love you guys. Talk to you real soon. Um, there's more to come on this one because this one's really deep. They all are, but we're the storm. Love you guys.